Good morning, RMS. I'm your host, Lexi Stock. And I'm Lexi Wurzler. Today is October 26th. And here's this week's Royal Report with Espen. Welcome back for another edition of the Royal Report. I'm Mr. Houselog. Last week, the fall sports were into section final action, and both soccer teams and the football team were in sectional final play. To start with, the boys club was in St. Cloud taking on St. Cloud Tech Tigers and it was Rogers who would score first just 11 minutes into the game thanks to a Trevor Clink goal, but the rest of the night would belong to the Tigers as they scored three unanswered goals and ending a terrific season by the Royal Soccer Club as the Tigers move on to the state tournament with a 3-1 win. The girls soccer team hosted the St. Michael Knights in their section final championship and again the Royals struck first as a goal by Claire Swan gave the Rogers the early 1-0 lead. Later on in the game St. Michael would tie it up at 1 but a Courtney Henderson goal gave the Royals another lead at 2-1. STMA tied up the game again with 5 minutes left in the match but with less than a minute left Jenna Bressman would score to give Rogers the 3-2 win and a trip to the state tournament. In RMS sports news, the cross country season has wrapped up for the RMS runners and Nathaniel Hilden was crowned the individual champion at the Mississippi 8 meet last Tuesday. Here are some more results from that meet. Congratulations to Nathaniel and the rest of the cross country team on a great season. It was a wet day for the Rogers Royal football team as they took on St. Michael Knights for the section finals and they got off to a nice start here from Palm to Hunter Darwin for the nice 22 yard gain but it was the St. Michael Knights who start, struck first with this 25 yard scoring strike from quarterback to tight end and then later on before the end of the half it would be again St. Michael Albertville putting up another touchdown on the Rogers secondary and taking the 14 to nothing halftime lead. Rogers would come back into this game in the second half though as Palm hits Dar here on the nice 32 yard pickup. He was just short of the end zone, but the Royals would punch it in the next play. But the Knights always had the answer for Rogers as this huge scoring strike goes 54 yards to give St. Michael the two score lead. Rogers towards the end of the fourth quarter would punch it in here. Drew Sagehorn getting into the end zone after a 12-yard scamper, but the Knights move on to the state tournament play. And as we look to wrap up the fall sports season, just a reminder too, if you have winter sports coming up, please let us know so that we can get your scores and your information on the morning show for the Royal Report. For the Royal Report, I'm Mr. Houselog, back to you. Each week, we look at a new college or university in our area. This week, we look at a private school in St. Paul, Hamlin University, home of the Pipers. The campus where you walk around and everybody knows your name, and you can say hi to everyone, but you're still in the middle of a huge city with a lot of opportunity. It's such a small school that the amount of different majors that it had was surprising. The opportunities I've had here, I could have never had anywhere else. All of the faculty are incredibly supportive, willing to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. The trip that I've been leading is focusing on environmental justice. I've learned a lot about Native American culture. Today we have over 550 students going throughout the Twin Cities area to volunteer. We're speaking to our House and our Senate representatives, Pretty busy here at the Capitol. They really do become students of the world. Provides a lot of uh, research opportunities in different sectors. I have an internship at Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine on the editorial staff. There's always exciting things going on and to be able to participate in that is fantastic. Love, but you don't have to sacrifice your education for it. I tell people all the time that I couldn't have chosen a better school. It's been an amazing experience that I wouldn't have traded for the world.
tomorrow, Dick Bremer will be coming here to talk to us about the Respect Rally. So here is a short video on the Respect Rally. Dick grew up in Dumont, Minnesota, graduated from Staples High School and then St. Cloud State University. He has been a Twins fan his entire life. And now the booth is his home and the fans are his friends. And at times, his calls are tied to baseball history. People ask when you have a, a moment like that, do you rehearse what you're going to say? And I always say, no, you, you, you can't. It, it, it would sound forced, it would sound uh, rehearsed. Liriano has his no-hitter! During his broadcasting career, Dick has called two twins no-hitters, Scott Erickson's in 1994 and Francisco Liriano's in 2011. And for him, speaking about that is not a no-no that there's absolutely nothing I can say in the booth that is going to dictate what happens on the field. I've never understood the old baseball superstition about not mentioning that someone has a no-hitter. Those of you joining us around the country, Scott Erickson has a no-hitter for eight and a third innings. Throughout the years, there have been countless incredible moments of Twins baseball on television. And the one constant has been Bramer on the broadcast. I grew up in the outstate area of Minnesota, and I grew up watching Twins fans. And I try to do the game with that person in mind. The guy in Bemidji, we all work for bosses. We have to please our bosses. But I've always felt if the guy in Bemidji is happy, then I'm doing a pretty good job. Today in the advisory, we will be doing Respect Rally Expectations. Please stand for pledge. Bye. Remember, during the Respect Rally tomorrow, do the right thing. Do enter the gyms in an orderly manner. Do sit with your advisory class. Do give Mr. Dick Bramer, guest speaker, your full attention. And do go to your first hour after the rally. Thank you very much for your consideration. And remember to do the right thing.